Hello and welcome. For those that don't know me, my name is Liz and I love everything business related. So my channel is basically here to help people who are starting in business or wanting to grow their business and just sharing with you what I have learned along the way. So I currently make six figures, which I have basically got broken into three categories of income, freelancing, digital product Etsy stores and affiliate income. So they're the main ways that I make money at the moment to earn a comfortable six figures. So in this video, I wanted to go into why I want to build a lifestyle business rather than a million dollar empire. I do see a lot of gurus here on YouTube talking about, you know, building a million dollar business. And then I think, well, I'm not actually attracted to that. Yes, I would love a million dollars. I would love the income, but I'm not motivated by having a million dollar empire. I don't really want to have employees. I'd rather it just be me. Um, yes, I could hire contractors here and there if I needed help. But at the end of the day, I don't want to be responsible for other people. I really just want to be responsible for myself. And so that's my main reason why I'd rather have a lifestyle business than a million dollar empire. If my lifestyle business turns into a million dollar empire, then so be it. But at this stage, I basically just want to have time freedom, being able to work when I want and do what I want, um, have enough money to consistently, um, you know, do the things that I want and need. Um, and I don't want to be penalized by being a fast worker. So they're my main reasons for why a lifestyle business works for me. So as I said, I have three main sources of income, which are freelancing, digital product Etsy stores and affiliate income. But over the next 12 months, I want to share my journey on, you know, expanding beyond that. So I really want to monetize YouTube. I want to create some mini courses or workshops which focus on my areas of expertise and how I can help people. I know that I'm a really good teacher um, and so I can explain things so that people can understand them easily and I break them down into steps. So I know that I'm really good at that. So I'd really like to build on that and create some uh, mini courses and workshops that really help people to get past something that they're struggling with. So in order to do that, I really need to grow on Instagram and turn that into a method of driving traffic to my offers. Um, and also I need to add some more digital products to help solopreneurs. So if you don't already know, if you haven't been around here before, um, I do love Notion um, to help people stay organized because it can, you know, house everything in one place. So I really want to create, I've already started working on it, but I really want to create a really detailed uh, Notion workspace for solopreneurs so that it covers everything because all of the workspaces that I've seen out there, um, they don't cover everything that a solopreneur needs. And so you're sort of making your own Frankenstein system with bits and pieces from everywhere, unless you know what you're doing. So I want to set a really detailed workspace up for solopreneurs. So that's something that I'm working on as well. And then I will make that available. Um, to purchase. So they're the main things that I want to work on. So I want to take you along with, with me on this journey and show you how I'm going to scale that income. So that's basically where I'm at at the moment. But to give you a bit of history as to where I actually started, um, I don't even remember what year I started now, but I originally had an interest in becoming like a virtual assistant or something in the early 2000s. And then because I'm an introvert, um, I found it really difficult to actually put myself out there. So I put it off and put it off. And then further down the line, um, in the mid, mid 2015, maybe, maybe around there, um, my dad was diagnosed with cancer. Actually, it was probably about, it might have been 2016, 2017. So my dad was diagnosed with cancer and he passed away three weeks later. So it was really fast um, and unexpected. So when that happened, I sort of considered, you know, life short and why am I working so much and not being, you know, rewarded for it? So 
a real turning point for me was that where I worked, um, the males were always paid more than me. I worked harder than them, but I never got the same pay. Um, and then when my dad actually passed away, my job had been to organize gifts for people and resolve issues. And, you know, I was in charge of customer service. So um, it was really solving people's issues. And like I would send flowers all the time to people and I would send flowers to employees if something had happened to them. So I, I was sort of that person that did it for everybody. And when my dad passed away, um, they refused to send me flowers. Like my teammates had all asked for flowers to be sent, etc., and nobody could be bothered organizing them. So that was basically the turning point for me because I just thought, no, nah, this isn't right. This isn't, you know, something that I want to pursue. So I was really into painting and my kids were really young at the time. So they were like childcare and just starting primary school, that, that sort of age. And so I thought, you know, I really love painting. What can I do with painting and art to make an income? So I actually decided I'm going to give children's face painting a go. So I started doing face painting um, and I hired a face painter to actually teach me all about the business side, um, to show me, you know, how to use my designs from paper onto faces, etc. So I learned all those skills and um, I was happily working along as a face painter for probably about a year. So I did children's face painting and then I sort of expanded and I also did like maternity painting and painting people's bellies and things like that. Um, and then I decided that I was starting to hate painting because it was something that I had always enjoyed, but now I felt under pressure to do it all the time rather than just doing it while you enjoy it. So that sort of put me off it. And so I decided to step back from that. And I mean, I had regular gigs, so I um, had to sort of quit the regular gigs that I was doing where I was painting every week on certain days at certain places. So um, I had built it so that it was quite a successful little face painting business. So then I decided, well, what was it that I enjoyed as parts of that business that I could expand on? So then I thought, oh, I really enjoyed the social media aspect of it at the time and growing the business. So then I pursued that and I did some courses and I became a social media manager. This is back when that was sort of really popular in the early 2020s, like 2019, 2020, around that period. So I did that and um, I enjoyed it for a while and I was helping coaches mainly. Um, and then I decided to, that I disliked it as well. Uh, because you're forced to do these things all the time. So I decided that I'm not very good with this repetitive stuff. So I find that boring after a while. So that's when I thought, oh, I need something with variety. I need something that works around my kids and I need something that, you know, gives me a steady income. So that's when I sort of discovered digital products and, um, and affiliate marketing as well. And that's when I started working freelance using all of my skills as an online business manager. So that's sort of where I've been, you know, my, my little journey. So for the last couple of years, I've worked as an online business manager, um, freelancing. I've had my digital product Etsy store. So I've currently got three stores, two of them perform quite well. One of them I sort of started and haven't really done much with. Um, and then I have affiliate income streams as well. So that's sort of my journey and how I've sort of come along the track. But basically, I've learned a lot of skills along the way. And I really have learned that a million dollar empire is just something that I don't want. So I have a young family, as I said. I really want to be able to spend time with them. I want to have weekends with them. I don't want to be working 24, seven, seven days a week. I, I want to have time and I want to be able to do the things that I want. 
And so my plan is to really build a business that does consistent mid six figures. Um, if I could do half a million dollars a year um, in business revenue, that, that would be like my ultimate goal. Um, I don't need more than that. I think that, you know, that's more than a comfortable income for anybody really. And it allows you to do so many things in your life. So I'm not really concerned about making any more than that. When I originally started, my goal was $10,000 a month in the hand per month. Um, so after taxes and things like that, um, I'm not quite there. I can definitely get more than 10,000 a month before everything comes out, but afterwards, not so much. <laughs> So up until now, my channel has mainly been like tutorials and trying to help people in business, but I didn't really know what angle to take with this channel. And so I, I think I was overthinking it for too long. And so there is a bit of a mashup of videos and topics and stuff on this channel, but I've learned a lot from that. And so I know now that I really want to focus on helping people that are you know, slightly behind me when it comes to being a solopreneur and having all of these different income streams. So my goal here is to really just take you on the journey with me um, so that you can see how I'm creating things and building things up um, and yeah, help you along the way. So please let me know in the comments where you're at in your business and what you're currently struggling with so that I can make sure that I make content that's really going to help you. So thank you for joining me today. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'm always happy to help. Have a fantastic day.